Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It is me, Mr. Four Chaos Killer. So, today, Saturday, February 23rd, there was a new patched update for Anthem that was about 4.9 gigabytes. Total of 4 gigabytes. Pretty hefty update, you know, but there's still no HDR. I just want to let you know there's still no HDR, and I don't know what's going on with the HDR, why the HDR is not being implemented, but I'll tell you what. Uh, this is being recorded in 4K, and the reason I'm recording this in 4K is because I want you to see that the Anthem on the Xbox One X really looks good. For those of you who haven't picked it up, graphically looks amazing. Uh, they really patched this game up. There's no issues with the frame rates. What I have seen on the Monday, I don't know if you guys have seen the video that I have done called A Beautiful Mess. Anthem beautiful mess and I played the game way before uh, the release date five days early before the release date and I was not impressed on what I was seeing I complained about it and probably EA Bioware might have seen that video okay I'm, I'm pretty sure they've seen it because it was trending a little bit and now they fixed it now everything runs smooth I spent a total of uh, 20 hours playing the Anthem and I can tell you guys that it runs pretty smooth there's no issues with the frame rates. The graphics looks very sharp. Um, looks beautiful on my OLED. I don't have any issues with it so far. The textures are very sharp and detailed. Uh, dynamic light looks great. I'm not sure about the resolution because I have no idea what type of resolution they're using. Uh, I don't think it's native 4K. Um, I don't think it's native 4K. It's probably some type of uh, dynamic resolution that they're using here but it doesn't matter it looks great uh, the, the game runs great looks great this is way better than what I have seen on Monday and I'm glad that the Bioware is listening to the feedback I'm glad that they are you know patching this game up I'm not sure what this patch was all about what this four gigabyte patch was all about that was released today I have no idea, but uh, either way, it looks great. So for those of you who are skeptical and you don't know whether or not you want to purchase it, remember, you can always join the EA Access. You can try this game for like 10 hours and see if you want to buy it. Uh, the best way to explain uh, Anthem, it's kind of like Destiny 2. Destiny 2 that has merged with like a crossbreed of... Dragon Age and Mass Effect, except it's a very limited RPG. It's a very, it's not an RPG game, it's uh, an online game like Destiny. It's really like a Destiny hybrid with Dragon Age, something like that, but it's a very limited RPG. Sure, there's some RPG element, uh, elements to it, some RPG role-playing elements to it. You can talk to the people, you can meet new characters, stuff like that. There's a little bit of a story, but it's really about up upgrading your character, building your uh, javelin, and joining with the other friends. It's like Destiny. It's like Destiny. It's like a EA's version of Destiny. It's what it is, man. Uh, that's the best way to explain it. But the world, it's really cool. The world really reminds me of uh, the Avatar. The world is really rich, man. The animals they got, the insects and whatnot. The world is really like Avatar. It really looks beautiful, man. And this is something that I think it distinguishes from the Destiny. It really is like Avatar. And it looks much, much better in my opinion. And uh, like I said, you won't be disappointed with... Uh, the Xbox One X version of this game. It really looks beautiful. I was impressed with it. I like the way it looks. And uh, the good news is they're patching it up, man. They're fixing it. They're listening to the people's feedback. And that's what I like about it. Uh, look at these animals, man. These little creatures. They're so cool, man. Like little pets. So... Now, this is a free mode. Like, what I'm doing, it's a free mode. You can kind of wander around and look at different things and explore. And then you can join your other people, help them out. Uh, it's, it's really like a destiny, man. 
you know, it's like a Destiny, but just slightly a little bit better than Destiny, okay? Now, let's talk about the reviews and the way people are, re uh, the way these uh, companies like IGN and GameSpot are reviewing these games. Uh, here's the problem, dude. I want to say this. The way the, the GameSpot and IGN are reviewing the games, it's almost as if they have a certain standard and that certain standard has to be met. Like, if it's not in par with the God of War, if it's not in par with Spider-Man, if it's not in par with The Last of Us, we don't want to know about it. We can give it an 8, we can give it a 9. If it's not in the par with the PUBG player underground uh, game, Battle Royale, player unknown Battlegrounds, excuse me, if it's not in par with the PUBG, if it's not in par with the Fortnite, if it's not in the par with the Apex Legends, we don't want to know about it. We don't want to give it any good score. We'll give it a half ass score. We'll give it six. We'll give it five. So I th totally disagree with that type of rating system. Uh, it's wrong on so many different levels. Sure, this game is not for everyone, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad game. You know, this game has some stuff going for it. People say, oh, it's repetitive. Guess what? Pop, it's repetitive. Fortnite, it's repetitive. Okay? bunch of games are repetitive. Even God of War is repetitive. Even Spider-Man is repetitive. Even The Last of Us gets repetitive because you always got to do the missions to get to the next level to find out what's happening in the story. Okay? Even Metal Gear can become repetitive. I mean, you know, the problem is they're nip they're nitpicking and searching for some kind of excuse to, to bitch and moan about some of these games. A true gamer will not bitch and moan about the games. A true gamer will appreciate any kind of a game because he's a gamer and a gamer will play any game out there. And I think this is the point that a lot of people are missing. I mean look at this. This is beautiful man. It's like going through Avatar. This is a very high quality game. This is not some shitty ass game. This is a very good high quality game with, with the beautiful graphics. You know, There's a lot to do here. There's some fun to be had here. I mean, if I if this game wasn't fun, do you think I would be playing this game? If it was not fun? No, I would not be playing it. But it is fun. There's a lot to do in this game. Okay? You got the co-op mode. You can uh, help the others. You got the uh, free mode. You can go hang out to that castle and talk to the other people. Look, it's like Avatar. Look at this. It looks exactly like Avatar. You know, there's a lot to do here. It's like the tree of life. Let me let me take a screenshot here, uh, just to really quit. I don't know, dude. I'm just uh, a bit disappointed with with the way the gaming society has become today. And this is uh, another reason why I wanted to make this video, because I'm just disappointed the way people are complaining these days. You don't hear me complaining about the Crackdown Three. You don't hear me complaining about this game. Why? Because I appreciate. I appreciate something different. I appreciate variety. That's what a gamer do. Gamer appreciates everything. All of the above. Today, you don't have gamers. Today, you have nitpicking complainers. They're just complaining every day. Man, man, I don't crack down three. It doesn't look photorealistic, man. Complain, complain. Uh, what else we got? Jump Force, man. It's a limited creation. Oh, man. Jump Force. Pfft. I'm kind of disappointed with the Jump Force, man. Complaints. Kingdom Hearts 3, man. Pfft. I'm disappointed with Kingdom Hearts 3, too, man. Everyone's complaining about something. You know, nothing will satisfy you anymore. You're not a gamer, man. <clears throat> let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I'm old. I'm an old geezer. I'm 40 years old. Don't let this fool you, the fact that I shaved my beard or that I trimmed it, whatever. Uh, don't let this bother you. I'm 40 years old. I have played everything from Spectrum, Commodore 64, uh, Spectrum Sinclair ZX, Commodore 64, Amiga 500, uh, Sega's, 
Nintendos. I have played Ataris, all of the Ataris. I have played truckload of video games. If I was complaining and nitpicking on what games I should play, cousin, brother, sisters, I would not be a gamer. I wouldn't play any games if I was nitpicking what games I should play. I wouldn't touch any game. Then I wouldn't call myself a gamer. If you're so selective and you're nitpicking, you can't call yourself a gamer. Means that you're going to be missing out on tons and tons and tons of games. And you're not a gamer if you're nitpicking. I played Civilization. I played uh, Com Command and Conquer. Red Alert. I played truckload of games. I played variety of stuff. That makes you a gamer. Somebody who's constantly bitching and moaning does not make you a gamer. You know what it makes you? A bitcher and a moaner. Because that's all you do is you bitch and moan. You don't appreciate anything. Like those people uh, who buy Tesla. I have a Tesla Model 3, but let me tell you six things I hate about it. Then why are you still making videos? By Why don't you return that Tesla? Tell Elon Musk, go screw yourself, I'm returning this piece of shit. But you still have that Tesla. But no, let's complain about something. Let's complain. People always find something to complain about, man. That's, that's the problem in today's society. People are always bitching and moaning about something. Oh, oh the, uh, the Captain Marvel. It's going to be a horrible movie. It's going to be a horrible movie, but come March 3rd, or was it March 8th, March 6th, when it gets released, the movie is going to make truckload of money. It's going to be number one movie in the box office. And all these same people who bitched and moaned about it will say, Oh, it's not such a bad movie after all. It's doing great in the box office. I really don't understand this generation. I really don't understand <clears throat> this gaming society. And what, what are you guys all about? I really don't get it. It, you guys to me are like aliens. I look at you as if I'm an alien and I'm looking at other species as aliens. I really don't understand you. Just like if Grace, if Andromedans or Pleiadians from the other galaxies out there are looking at us, they're gonna say, I don't get these people. I don't get the species. First they love each other, they hate each other, they destroy each other, they sing Kumbaya together with each other. What are they all about? Like, it's very complex. And that's how I feel about today's society. I don't get it. I don't, I mean, you guys don't appreciate nothing. You guys just bitch and moan about everything. Everything. Why can't you appreciate this game? What's wrong with this game? You can play with your friends. You can have fun. There's a replay value to be had here. Crackdown 3, there's a co-op. There's a wrecking zone. There's a replay value to have there. I mean, come on. Seriously, guys, come on. I mean, um, what? I just, I, I mean, I'm, I'm in loss for words. I don't know what to say, man. And I know that there's uh, people who are my generation who are watching this video. They're going to agree with me. They're going to say, I agree with you, bro. Today, you got nothing but a bunch of complainers. Just pitch and moan. They're just complaining every day. Nothing's good enough. My Note 9 is not good enough, even though you got one terabyte of memory storage you can put in there. Even though it's the, the fastest phone you can get right now. Uh, people bitch and moan about their AirPods. People bitch and moan about their Samsung uh, earbuds. People bitch and moan about Teslas, cars. Even though they're probably the most sophisticated cars you can get. So... People don't appreciate anything anymore. This is a generation of don't appreciate nothing, but let me complain about everything. Ser seriously. We have it so good in today's society with all of this. And I think people got spoiled. And I think that's what happened with this generation. And I hate to bring this up, but I think uh, this generation got spoiled. And I think that's, that's what you have. When you have people spoiled, uh, then they complain. They don't appreciate. <coughs> It's just in my opinion, I appreciate stuff, man. I appreciate that OLED. I appreciate that QLED. I appreciate this uh, 
this game and that avatar happy tree of life they have this actually uh, on the animal kingdom in Orlando when you go to the animal kingdom they do have it I highly suggest that you guys go check out the avatar on Orlando on the animal kingdom uh, I do have some videos on it just search my name and you will see the avatar uh, how beautiful it is man it's like you're really there like it's like you're being transported there it is so beautiful man it's an animal kingdom I highly suggest you guys check it out so <clears throat> okay guys make sure you check me out tonight <clears throat> I mean today in the afternoon around 4 p.m. we'll do a part number four of Metro Exodus we'll see if I can finish the game or not come join me 4 p.m. and uh, I'll see you there we can talk more about this uh, later on tonight all right guys well thank you for watching there you have it. Cheers. Have a good one.